Welcome back to the Hermitcraft Vanilla Server. And as you can see here, just to confirm for anyone who had any doubts, no, I didn't actually completely destroy the village, the, the town. Uh, yeah, I know it looked like it, but as uh, has been pointed out, it was an April Fool's thing. I did my fireworks show. I arranged for it to go horribly wrong, you know. This is like in real life when fire, when uh, like bottle rockets land on somebody's roof and sets the house on fire and so on and that kind of thing. It was uh, a lot of fun. It was a lot of frustration too because it took me three times to get my video recorded. I had premature explosions on the previous, on the first two attempts, and that was really frustrating. Although it turned out pretty good in the end because I managed to destroy all of the New Hermiton village, just about, in one catastrophic mega explosion. Okay, another thing to do here is, let's see, there's mail. Ah, the new episode of the Herald. Okay, let's pop upstairs to the traditional newspaper reading spot, my bedside reading area, and see what's in the news today. All right, let's see. Camera footage of robbery. Oh, yes, that's right. DMAC got some footage of the robbery because uh, he had those cameras that he took into the past. That was really good. Uh, wandering, shadowy figure seen wandering around and writing bad haiku. Uh, I got a feeling... This is going to be an interesting court case. Okay, the Hermiton racetrack is under construction. I'm going to have to have a look at that sometime real soon, too. Is that I have, for all I've heard so far, that is a really epic, really long track. Definitely worth looks out. Muse meets shutdown. Uh, yeah, the board of what board of health? This remains to be seen. Spawnwork has been seen to be cleaning up the inside of his facility in the hopes that it get it reopened. Would this require a court intervention or good old-fashioned retribution win the day? Uh -huh. Okay, employment opportunity. Yes, this is my advertisement for a honest villager for a sales position at the Needful Things shop. Civil unrest, zombies written, risen up to protest at Biffus Bakery, allowed his dangerous dog to murder one of the Herald's own writing staff, committees for the liberation of evil organisms and zombies, <laughs> the committees for the li liberation of evil organisms and zombies, I love it, <laughs> that is priceless. Suspected Biffle was responsible for the disappearance of several zombies he directed into the Herald's office. The only survivors were two zombies that took shelter in the basement. When will he pay for his crimes? Ooh, boy. Strong editorial. But I like the Herald for that. Strong editorials are good. All right. Well, let's see. I'm going to head back over to the farm area. The mob farming and other multi-farming stuff and things kind of area and uh, get busy on some stuff over there and also get with a little bit of channel update stuff all right here we are now i've already gone ahead and emptied out most of the rotten flesh out of this thing and i'm just going to tear this down And I'm going to make a change here. Let's see. Okay, because the uh, the filler element I'm using here is gravel, I can go ahead and put a filter in here specifically looking for the uh, rotten flesh and automatically do something with it.
So, put a temporary block down here. I need my comparators. Some redstone dust. Now you need a torch. And hopper. Well, a couple of three hoppers actually. Okay, we got one going in there. So let's take this one. All right. Now that one is set to filter rotten flesh downward. And now for this one, uh, yeah, we're going to have to still run it over one, so. Okay. Temporary block there. Hopper into that block. And another hopper coming down into this one. Shift and jump. Okay. Okay, that wasn't so slick. Let's try this again. Hopper going downwards into that one. This one feeds to there. This one feeds here and comes down. And what are we going to have here? A really elegant solution that somebody suggested in the comments. I'm going to fit lava right there. So, the rotten flesh will now be dropped into lava. Perfect. That should take care of that. Let's see, I've got a few on me, so let's go over here and drop it into the input system. And it should all come over here and be dropped out. Uh... Yeah, okay. okay. I don't have, okay. These are some Eilor items that I'm going to need to filter because, as has been pointed out, witches spawn up in that mob farm too. So, sticks, glowstone dust, sugar, and redstone dust need to be filtered as well. Okay. So, once there's enough uh, rotten flesh in here, I believe more than, two, well, you know what I can do. That should do it. Honestly. Okay, that should be dropping it out, but it's not. Well, isn't that special? What if I broke the redstone torch here? Because I think that might be interfering with things. No. Because that has just messed up the one up there that was filtering. All right. So we put the rotten flesh here, we put 21 gravel there, this stuff all filters out. Take that out, rotten flesh should end up down here, take all of this stuff out. Well, hmm. Okay, how about this? Let's pick up the lava. Apparently that's going to have to feed into a chest. That's okay. We have a regular chest here. Uh, 
Okay. Trap chest. Okay. Now. We take a hopper pointing down directly under the chest. Oh, that torch. Yeah. All right, another trap chest. That torch is too close. There, it won't affect. That torch won't affect this. So, okay, we've got that here. Now, we we'll put that down. Okay. Dump the lava here and put the block down there. Okay, let's dump some of this up here. Is the hopper pulling it out? Yes, but it's not dropping it anywhere. Okay. Hmm. I thought a redstone signal would stop the hopper. Apparently a hopper won't just drop out into space like I want it to. Let's see, have I some levers? Yes, I do. Alright, let's just for the grins throw a lever on this hopper. Oh, you can't do that. Well, so a hopper won't dump out into space. It has to dump into something. Like into a chest or another hopper. Well, now that's gonna bite. I could have sworn it was a... Okay. There's another way, obviously. I'm not thinking of it. Okay. Let's get rid of that. And let's go ahead and get rid of this. And I should have thought of this before. Hopper eject not into a chest, but a dispenser. Do I have one of those around? I got droppers. Problem is a dispenser is gonna or a dropper, either one, is gonna need okay, let's get out the dropper. It's gonna need some kind of a clock to make it work. Alright. So, hopper, ejecting the material into a dropper, and then the dropper, kicking stuff out one block, where it will then fall into lava. All that's going to be needed is to work out some kind of a clock to operate this thing. And let's see. Uh, hmm. I know there's a way to do this. It looks like it's off, but it still has the particle effect. That's weird. All right. This torch activates or pulses whenever there's something coming through the hopper up there. 
So what if can I take the redstone signal from that to do something? Let's see. Uh, I'm just kind of spitballing here. I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, let's see. I seem to recall something about slabs. No. I think I'm close. I'm sure there's 11 zillion people watching right now, or, well, everybody that does watch, 11 zillion or otherwise, who are saying, God, you're doing it so wrong. And I probably am. I know there's a way to do this. I just don't know right offhand what that is. All right. I'm going to mess with this for a little bit, and I'll be back. All right. I think I've got it here. Okay, let me just get up there a little bit. All right. Redstone signal is captured from that torch. Comes over here and up this way. And then goes over that way there into the side of the dispenser and now every time that torch pulses which is going to happen every time a new rotten flesh goes into the dispenser or dropper or whatever it is it's going to kick one out it's going to hit this block and fall into the lava bingo no more buildup of rotten flesh unless and until such time as the game is changed to where the stuff actually has a use so now we have automatic rotten flesh disposal. Very good. Now I need to expand this thing a little bit and put in four more filter lines for preserving these materials. And let's just test this. I've got a bunch of rotten flesh on me that I've pulled out of the system. Got 48 of them in there. And now we should see rotten flesh being kicked out. i got to stay far enough away that I don't grab it. And it is not all going in. Is that helping? I think maybe it is. Every time that torch pulses, which is going to happen every time a rotten flesh comes through here, it's going to get pulsed and ejected from the dropper and fall into the lava. Bingo. No more rotten flesh problems. Excellent. That's gone. That's right. And there's 28 of them that didn't go. Ugh. Well, I can see that being a problem. I don't know. Perhaps there's better ways to do it. I'm sure there's better ways to do this. Maybe I need to arrange it so that this, is, uh, this gadget 
critter thing, whatever, is somewhere off on the very end of the filtering system. I don't know. That might just be the ticket. In the meantime, I'm going to extend the system and that's those are temporary blocks. Let's break that one. Okay. All right. And now I'm going to go ahead and build the four more sections of the filter system to tend to those last items that currently are not filtered. All right. First up, I've got these items here, now all properly filtered into these chests. And I was working on this some more, and I decided to move the hopper, the dropper, or whatever. Maybe it should be a uh, dispenser, I don't know. But I put it directly over the lava, facing down. And I moved the trigger wire, so that it would be triggered that way. And... In theory, it seems to work, although there's always about 24 rotten flesh in there. I'm not sure what that's all about. I had another hopper here to feed the thing directly into the uh, dropper. And you see it's kicking stuff out. There's always 24 in there. And uh, a lot of times it gets kicked out, but it's going to bounce out. Maybe I need to move it down some more and uh, put it exactly one block above the lava instead of two, well, you know, directly above the lava. But uh, I don't know. If that's go Well, wait a minute. I just now thought of something. Okay. Pick this up. Put it down here. It's going to fall into the hole, so it's not going to spill out. Or maybe it is. Okay. That's still a possibility. Let's try this. Put a block here and there. Put a block there and there. Oh, I can't put one there. I can't put one here. And it's eight to two pieces of redstone I had there. Okay, the rising and falling lava thing is apparently not going to work. I'm going to try one more thing. Arrange for it to fall even further, and I've knocked a redstone torch off. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, so we put that here. We dump the lava there, and it falls down. No. It comes out and eats whatever redstone is there. Okay, can't do that. So I just put the lava down there where it was. Maybe I need to move the, the uh, dropper down a block or put another one down there or something. I don't know. I'll get it figured out eventually. And if you guys have a suggestion as to how to make that work, do let me know. I would love to know something here that would work. I mean, even this, as screwed up as it is, is working to a degree because if those things sit out there like that, they will despawn. So... In that, it's not a problem, but I would rather have a cleaner disposal system than that. Now, one of the things I mentioned was a bit of channel news. And this is especially going to be of interest for those of you who have been following my FTB series on the Hermitcraft FTB server. Well, I've had a bit of computer difficulty lately. Specifically, I had been, up until recently, my uh, computer's memory arrangement consisted of two sticks of one gigabyte DDR2 and two sticks of two gigabyte DDR2. And the two gigabyte sticks are now garbage. They don't, they're, they're worthless. I can't even get the system to power up with them installed. And yes, I've tried all the usual things that you should try with things like that. I've tried reseeding 
the chips and swapping them to different positions and all this good stuff and they just don't function in that slot they don't, they don't function the system won't start up with them in place the result is that instead of having six gigabytes of memory i now have two which based on my attempts to start ftb for the last couple of days um uh, i can't i hit i start the launcher the launcher starts up okay and I go into the launcher's options and I tell it to use the least amount of memory it will allow, which apparently is 1.5 gigabytes. Theoretically, that should be enough to run FTB, but in actual practice, I start the launcher, I select the monster pack, and I hit launch. And 15, 20, 30 minutes later, it is not launched. And I end up having to, well, at that point, things have gotten so bogged down and the hard drive is thrashing so bad that the only way I can get control of the machine again is to power it off. So this means that I will no longer be able to do anything on the Hermitcraft FTB server until that problem is cured. And that problem is not going to be cured for, frankly, the foreseeable future because I have sufficient financial troubles and difficulties that I cannot in good conscience spend money on my computer at all, unless of course it were to be a catastrophic I can't do anything with it situation. That might be a little different, but I've got to get to where I can get through the month without having to use the overdraft at my bank. I need to get caught up on a number of debts and bills and stuff like that and start putting together some kind of a way to ensure that I can afford the propane I need for heat and hot water through next winter because right now it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. And so any money I get, any donations I get, are going to go towards getting that mis mess of a situation straightened out. And then once I'm stable, then I will consider doing something like buying more memory. What this is going to mean for the channel is that while you won't see any more Hermitcraft FTB, at least not for the foreseeable future, eventually someday I hope to be able to return to it. I really do. FTB is a lot of fun. There's an amazing amount of stuff you can do. As a matter of fact, sometimes there's so much stuff you can't figure out what to do without asking people to tell you. <laughs> and uh, so on. It's going to mean that there will be more Hermitcraft vanilla and there will be more Kerbal Space Program. And this would be Kerbal Space Program career mode in the 0.23.5 Asteroid Redirect Mission Pack, which was recently released. And so, with that, that's how things are going, or, well, no, there you go. To quote a famous individual, that's the way it is, Friday, April 4th, 2014. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.